What's going on guys, this is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about the Tactical Tailor Extended Range Operator Pack. I've been using this in uh, many different situations, you know, backpacking, uh, going through, you know, mountains and hills and all kinds of stuff and dry desert environments and um, humid and, you know, rainy environments. Um, and I really come to enjoy this pack, uh, what it gives you as far as capability and the fact that it fits me like a glove minus one feature, and I'll talk about that a little bit in the future of the video. But as far as the construction goes, this is made of 1000D Cordera. It's made to last, um, and it definitely does last. You can see here that you have a nice size pack. I mean, this pack is pretty much the size of your body, uh, your, about your whole back is about the size of what this is. The other thing you have here is a bunch of PALS webbing throughout it. I have some uh, additional, on the front here, uh, pouches uh, right here. And you can put them all throughout. I actually had a uh, med kit on the side a little while ago. I took it uh, took it off though. On the one backpacking trip I took, I uh, took it off. And you know, it's just really built tough. It's really not going to. It's going to take a lot for this to actually have a problem. Um, so let's go through it a little bit. Up at the top here, you're going to have a pouch. This is usually where you know I'll put like goggles and stuff. I have my jet boil in here right now. That's where I'll have that. As you come down the pack here, you have. Uh, like I said, you have the, the PALS webbing on the front, and it's a flat front. There's no other pouch or anything on the front there. On the sides here, what you have is some pouches on the side where you can put a canteen. Canteens fit great in the sides here. Now jeans, you got to squish them in there a little bit, but as far as canteens go, whether it's the now jean canteen or just a USGI canteen, uh, they fit perfectly fine. The other thing you can do is if you want to attach a rifle on the side, kind of like a long range rifle, sniper rifle. You can actually attach it on here with no problem because butt stocks fit extremely well here in the pocket down at the bottom. Then you have the compression straps to kind of uh, hold it in there. The zippers on this are YKK zippers, really heavy duty zippers. The, the zippers are what I'm most impressed with as far as the operation on the pack. They open and close extremely easily. Um, and it's not easy where it's just going to come open on its own. It's just the fact that when you grab it, it opens you know, with ease and that's what you need uh, when you're, you know, it needed something in your pack. Uh, on the back here, you have an interesting panel, which you don't always see with a lot of uh, other packs. And this is just a dedicated hydration slot, uh, which is right here. Um, and it's just, you can put, you know, I actually put two hydration pouches down there. Uh, so I had 200 ounces one time. You have a handle on the back here and you have like an air mesh right here with a really nice, and this is one thing I gripe about with some outdoor companies, you have a really nice channel here where airflow goes through. So when it comes to overheating or getting your back really sweaty or hot, um, it doesn't really happen. The other thing here is you have the air mesh uh, right here on the shoulder straps and you have it here on the, uh, the waist strap. The waist strap's a little bit of adjustable, but not uh, super much. Um, the cool thing is the buckles, and I say this about all the, uh, the stuff I review, the buckles, it takes a good amount of effort to get them off. So these aren't gonna come off just by using it. You actually have to really engage these buckles to have them come off. It's a huge positive right there. You have a couple D-rings right here, um, and then you can connect stuff on. You have your nice uh, sternum strap right here. Excellent quality. I mean, it's definitely heavy duty. I've used this in tactical situations and uh, really haven't noticed you know, anything at all that has stuck out to me as going to be a problem. For the hydration pouch right here, you have where you're gonna have that come out. And usually what I'll do is I'll run that out down through here and I'll hook it onto this little uh, uh, bungee corded kind of, I forget what these are called, but it's just a little bungee cord right here. I'll hook it onto that and that's where I'll run the uh, the uh, tube for the hydration. Now the one thing I noticed with this pack, um, a lot of people will say for a three day pack you need a dainty pack, a real small pack. Uh, to get through for three days, but with hydration being, you know, your utmost importance when it comes to uh, multiple day, you know, excursions, what you're going to need is space to put that hydration. You have that space with this pack, um, and the cool thing about this is when you compare it to other packs on the market, it basically eats them up. Okay, you can actually take what someone's calling like a recon pack, a three day pack, and put it inside of this pack, and it will eat that pack. So we're gonna get rid of this one. It's a China made pack there. So what you have here on the inside is really cool. Um, a lot of the times you'll get packs and you say, where the hell am I gonna put everything? Well, in this pack, you have spaces to put your stuff. So say you wanna take you know, your med pouch and you wanna stick it right here, just go ahead and put it in there. 
and zip it up. And that's where your med pouch is going to be, okay? So it has these features on the side here, and there's a bunch of them. And then you have one right here as well, down the, uh, down the uh, front of the pack, the lip of the pack. On the inside here, you're going to have a little zipper where you can put another pouch, uh, another kind of uh, goggle size pouch. And then on the inside, uh, towards the back here, you can see that that's where the, uh, on the, on the flip side is where the hydration is. It goes down really far, and on the bottom here, um, it's really hardcore. You have that 1000D Cordero pretty much throughout this whole pack, and um, it's really strong. It isn't, doesn't seem very heavy though, and that's the one thing I have noticed, is it doesn't seem super heavy, which, uh, which is something that I like. As we zip the pack back up, you can see exactly how fast this is to get it open. Um, and you can see here I have a, a mag pouch on the side. Uh, the way I had this set up was I had mag pouches on the side, I had these three on the front, then I had uh, a med pouch on this side. And you know, getting this on and off is really quick because of just the quality of a buckle that's used. You can disengage it, you know, uh, very easily. Not easy as far as it's easy to disengage the, uh, the buckle, but the fact that it's quality means that you're gonna get a consistent uh, buckle disengagement versus if you have some crappy thing that can move around you have the two pieces of the buckle um, that can kind of move around uh, in this area if you have a uh, kind of like a little bit of room in between there um, you don't have that with this okay you have an engagement and you have a disengagement you don't have room there that's going to shuffle around with cheaper stuff you're going to get that you don't have that here now the one thing i would like to see them kind of change is the fact that this is made out of a thousand d cordura Tests have shown that you use 500D Cordura, it withstands the, uh, you know, the environment of a harsh environment for a soldier, and it you know, withstands the, the environment of using it for outdoor activities. That's the one thing I like to see them change. It's kind of funny though, because I was gonna do this review about two months ago. I actually wrote the review for my website, put it up there, um, and I was gonna get some pictures for it, and I had a conversation with uh, Mr. Ayers over there at Tactical Taylor. He had told me that they're actually looking at doing some, uh, some stuff in regards to lightening uh, the weight on this pack, which is amazing because the pack itself is just, you know, it's, you can use it for outdoors, you can use it for tactical. It is a very versatile pack. I mean, if you grab this pack, uh, you know, you could use it for uh, numerous kinds of uh, applications. And the cool thing about this pack compared to some other ones is say you're uh, in a situation where you need to get some attention. The cool thing about this is underneath here, you just undo this and you pull down your signaling, okay? And then you just attach it down here. But you have a, a signaling device built into the actual pack, okay? And it rolls up, doesn't weigh anything, it's out of the way, you know, you just put it right back up in here. And if you fold it up the right way, since I'm in a review, I'm kind of doing this in a rush. But as you can see, even just rolling up and throwing it in there, super fast, out of the way, doesn't weigh anything, it doesn't get in your way, and uh, you use it when you need it. Now the other thing up here is you have some bungee, so you can take something like a schma um, or whatever, and uh, you can put that in here, and then just buckle it down. We all know how bungee systems work. You know, buckle it down, add it on there. Okay, lots of different stuff you can do here as far as on the outside, especially with all the PALS webbing on here, you're gonna add a ton of capability into this. Let's take a closer look at the back. We looked at it a little bit earlier. Let's take a closer look here. You can see that the, uh, the webbing here is top notch. You know, it's nice and tight as far as the engagement and disengagement. Um, it's not loose or moving around, so the webbing matches the buckle as far as the, uh, the webbing size. Uh, you can see that air is gonna travel through here, like I mentioned earlier. You have a nice, um, you have uh, some actual stays in here. So this is an actual uh, internal frame pack. So you have stability built into here as well. Now the one thing that I did notice is on uh, the one that I have, you know, when I wore my battle belt, I couldn't actually buckle the waist strap. And this is one thing that definitely needs some looking at. I have a 36 waist. You can see I gained some weight since the holidays. But, you know, with a 36 waist and I have you know, I have a 1911 on my side here. I can barely, okay, buckle this, okay? It's buckled right now. You know, I can maybe get another two inches, okay? But what happened was when I had my battle belt on, I could not actually get this uh, engaged. And you can see that this is at its peak, okay? I could probably pull this through and get a few more inches, 
but then what you lose is this little system right here. So, you know, the one thing I like to see is just the addition of a little bit, a few more inches. I know Haas um, had the same issue uh, with his pack. Buckling this down can be somewhat of a chore uh, because when you have your battle belt on, you have a lot of bulk going on. So if you need to kind of go around anything, um, you're gonna need to extend this out a little bit. Um, and that's one thing I noticed, and I'll throw a picture up here so you can see the one issue that I came across there was uh, you know extending that. So maybe if they could add another two inches on each side, I could definitely think that would be a definite, definite improvement there. Now on the side here, you can see that you can actually adjust this pack as far as the, um, how you want the weight distributed with the pack. You can see that here. Okay, you can see that here, you can adjust that. So you can tighten that down, which is how I like it. You know, and then you also have the, the pals webbing on the side here as well. So a lot of pals webbing. That's the one thing you're gonna notice with this. So now, you know, like I said, this has a ton of pals webbing all over it so you can add to it. Uh, it already has a ton of size to probably fit. You know, I mean, it fits a ton of, of room in here. I mean, you could probably fit, fit a baby elephant in here. And the thing is, it doesn't take up a lot of real estate on your back. So, you know, here's a couple magazines. There's two, four, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? Eight. You know, we got 11 magazines. I'll throw a med pouch in here, another med pouch. I'll throw a schma, some more med, a boonie. Let's see. I think I fit this water in here. I'm gonna throw that water in here. Throw this in here. See what else I can grab. It's off camera here. There's a bag of some shit. And let's just put it all together here. Zip it up. And we'll put it on. Okay, and as you can see, it uh, fits easily. Okay, see it's not sagging. That's the one thing you're gonna get with some inferior packs is you're gonna see them sag at the bottom. Uh, you don't have that problem here with this tactical tailor one. All right, so as you can see, it fits on there. It fits nicely around the hips. Um, and that's why I like is it, it, you feel part of this pack. And that's the main thing that you wanna feel when you have uh, a pack on, is you wanna feel like it's an extension of yourself, okay? If you wanna actually get the most out of your pack and not have a uh, pain in your back or something like that. So here's that. So as you can see, I mean, a ton of stuff fits in here. It fits really nice. You know, you can compression the sides here really easily. Okay, so if you wanna compress those down, you can do that. There's a ton of different stuff you can do with this. I love it. It's my favorite backpack uh, when it comes to, you know, beyond the Kelty 3500, the MAP 3500 I reviewed. You know, if I need some more room, this is the pack I'm grabbing. I can add on to it. I can make this a much bigger pack just by adding on pouches on the sides. So if I, if I don't wanna put my meds inside, I can take a med pouch, put it on the outside, put it in there. You know, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this pack. It's an all-purpose pack. Of course, you know, the stitching and all the bar tacks, the stitching, uh, the gauge of thread. I mean, of course, all that stuff is, is what Tactical Tailor already is, which is saying is too many times. No, what it is, is... <laughs> Jesus. What Tactical Tailor does is they make stuff that is extremely um, top of the line. Okay, I've had other gear where, you know, you, you go to put something in your your uh, molly strap here and you just pull up a little bit and you're gonna rip that that threading out for where the bar tack is to separate the, uh, the PALS webbing. And, you know, you don't have that kind of stuff when you buy, you know, Tactical Tailor stuff. It's made, it's made to last, and uh, it's made to, do a good job when it is lasting for a long time. So if you guys have any questions or anything, go ahead and let me know. If you have a uh, Tactical Tailor Extended Range Operator Pack, go ahead and put it in the comments down below or better yet, make a video about it. And until next time, later. This is the fact that, where the hell is my other pack? Is it still in here? No, I didn't leave it in there. Oh, I did.